Hi, my name is Yusuf Yagi and my email is yusufyagi90 at gmail.com. Alright, can't type anymore. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to configure a Cisco sw uh, Enterprise switch, or just a Cisco switch, uh, a managed switch. Uh, I have a 3550 switch. It's got uh, 24 ports and to uh, gigabit. Also, uh, the 24 ports are PoE, which is power over Ethernet. Ah. Okay, so that was just kind of like um, information. So um, this is my switch. I am resetting it as we speak. So the uh, switch has. 24 ports. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to go ahead and uh, configure this switch to work with a router and access point. So you've got the router and then you've got the switch and then you've got the access point where all your users are or you can even have people, uh, clients that are um, wired it doesn't really matter, you have 24 ports, you can do whatever you want with them. So uh, the router is already configured, I have a video on how to configure the uh, router. The switch is uh, not um, terribly different, um, it is a lot easier since especially uh, I'm not configure, I'm not going to configure it too much. And then just the access point, which as soon as you configure the switch, um, the access point is already configured, so it should just uh, work and grab an IP from the router. So now the switch is going to have an IP for us. Uh, the router has an IP of 192.168.0.1. Switch is going to have 192.168.0.3. Um, I did leave uh, an address in between on purpose. And then uh, access point is uh, 0.4. But we're not getting into the access point. Um, so there we go. Uh, we'd like to enter initial configuration dialog. Yes or no? No. Um, would you like to uh, terminate auto install? Yes. I'd like to configure everything on my own. So since we have 24 ports, I want to go ahead and turn all the ports uh, off. So we want them to be admin down instead of down down. That way if someone um, down down, if someone uh, it plugs in anything, it will go up, up, or up, down, depending on the device. Um, not really uh, on the device, but if the line protocol is up or down, if there's uh, communication or not. So admin down, um, admin down is um, we're just turning off the switch. If you go, if anybody goes ahead and plugs in anything into the port, it will do nothing the port is not on. So let's go back over here. Okay, so this is our switch. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, into enable mode. First thing we need to do is um, secure the switch. So let's go into configure terminal and enable secret um, Cisco. Alright, let's also give the switch a name, host name. Yagi switch. That's my naming config convention here. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, save everything. Always, always save. It'll save you tears. Okay, especially if power goes off or anything. So destination and file name, startup config. That's fine. Okay, so we just gave it a name. We uh, enabled uh, the uh, enable password so if we go over here and we try to enable it should ask us for password it's going to be Cisco okay so now we're in first thing I like to do is like I said is turn off the ports so easiest way is to do a show run show run and config it will show you all the ports so let's just make this bigger grab all these and 
if you don't know what I was hitting, I was hitting uh, spacebar. Allows you to go down uh, by page, not by line. Okay, I'm just gonna post, uh, paste everything into Notepad++. Easiest thing to do is just copy this, uh, switch port mode, dynamic desirable. Copy, control F, you wanna replace everything with shutdown. And replace all. That'll save you a lot of time. Okay, except uh, interface uh, fast ethernet 0, 1 and 0, 2. So let's get rid of these because these are going to be our main interfaces that we're going to be using in this uh, video. So let's go ahead into uh, configure terminal and all we have to do is we already told it uh, interface fast ethernet 0, 3 shut down interface 0, 4 shut down so it's going to do it all on its own so we copy and we paste and as you can see everything is going administratively down and then change to down as well as administratively down okay so we're done so if we go exit exit and do a show IP interface brief you should see everything over here we've got fast ethernet 01 is down down status and protocol 02 is down down faster than 03 is administratively down and down so status administratively down anything you plug in not gonna work unless you enable it okay so first thing is first let's go ahead and plug in my router into fast ethernet 01 I did want to show you guys if I go interface uh, fast ethernet interface fast ethernet ah FA01 and try to assign fast ethernet uh, port port fast ethernet 01 IP address I can't there's nothing I can assign to it because it's a layer one switch sorry did I just say layer one it's supposed to be layer two my bad um, Alright, so it doesn't deal with IP addresses, but we can uh, go ahead and use VLANs. Um, so to assign this uh, switch an IP, which we were uh, saying it needs to be 0 0.3, we can go ahead and in config mode, um, just go ahead and type interface VLAN 1, the main uh, virtual uh, LAN there is and type in IP address 192.168.0.3 subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 and no shut so we can enable um, VLAN 1 so now it's going back it's going up Let's see alright so the interface is up. Now a cool thing you can do in the switches, uh, especially since uh, I have like a switch uh, with 24 ports, there are switches with 48. God knows how many ports there are on switches. I am don't know. Um, one of the good things is you can name these ports. So, we're back in config mode. Uh, I want to go ahead and give fast ethernet 01 uh, a name, so a description. That's going to my router. So, description, I like to put stars for some reason, and to router, and enter. So, now if I go ahead and do a show interface description I should see VLAN 1 is up up FA01 to router and it's up up because I have my router plugged into it into that port and so let's go ahead and do the same for FA02 uh, interface FA02 that's where my access point is going to be connected to access
point. Alright, so let me go ahead and connect my access point. I had to unplug everything. Everybody here is pissed off because there's no internet. So, okay, so as you can see, interface 02 is going back up. Alright, so there's nothing much to configuring the switch uh, except probably enabling SSH. Um, you don't want to keep on consoling into the switch. So, don't telnet. Uh, telnet is just not secure. SSH, the way to go. So, let's go ahead, config T. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have to give the switch a uh, domain name. So I believe it's IP domain dash name. Oh, domain. There. Use of yagi.com. It can be anything. It can be yagi.local or whatever. Um, I have a domain name, use of yagi.com. I'm just still working on uh, getting the site up. It's not my top priority. Okay, so after uh, giving it a uh, domain name, let's go ahead and enable um, SSH. So first thing we need to do is crypto key generate other. Ah, not other RSA. I keep on getting mixed up between them. Okay, so um, how many bits in the uh, modulus? Uh, we're gonna do 1024 so it's generating the RSA keys give it a second okay it's done SSH 1.99 has been enabled so I want IP SSH version 2 strict version 2 I also would like that my session my SSH session will time out after 60 seconds so IP SSH timeout 60 it gets annoying sometimes when you're configuring stuff but in the end worth it uh, also authentication retries it'll uh, close down to connection after three times if you get the username and password incorrect so IP SSH authentication retries and um, let's do three times okay so now what we need to do is, um, what I like to do is assign a username and password. Uh, because I have multiple people logging into the switch, I can give them different uh, privileges and whatnot. So username for me is going to be admin, since I'm the admin. Privilege 15, uh, full access to the switch. Secret, don't do password, secret is always better and then put in a password. I'm gonna put Cisco. Alright, so that's uh, username. Um, I can even do username just to show you guys. Uh, use of privilege 5 secret Cisco. So now I have two usernames configured in the switch. Now what we have to go and do is go into line VTY uh, for routers is 0 uh, through 4, over here is 0 through 15. Um, if you don't remember, you can just go line VTY and then question mark. There you go. 0 through 15. Through 15. So what we're going to do is we're going to limit it only to SSH, not, uh, not uh, Telnet. So transport, input, SSH and then we're gonna do login local exit exit copy run start alright so let me go ahead and try pinging my router 100% my switch uh, my access point alright so let's try from um, my computer so ping 192.168.0.3 and I am getting no response oh, there we go again, let's try perfect so, look at the time <laughs> one millisecond 
So, excellent. All right, round trip. Average zero milliseconds. Awesome. Okay, so let's do a copy run start, which I already did, but I like to just make sure I do it a hundred times. Better be safe than sorry. So, 192.168.0.3, that's the IP of my switch. I'm going to SSH, yes. So, like I said, I made two accounts. Admin, and password was Cisco. Ah, got the password wrong. Okay, so, this is my switch. Uh, I can do whatever I want. Okay, so let's try my other account. Um, I can't remember what privilege 5 does. Well, it's less privileges, that's for sure. So, Yusuf and Cisco. And I got the password wrong again. Okay, so I am... Aha! See, I can't, conf I can't go into a uh, configure terminal, so that's something. I am limited with the number of uh, commands I can do. So over here, look at this. I can do all that. Over here, not so much. All right, uh, going to head and exit from these. Uh, remember always to uh, save your uh, work. Always back up your stuff. And that's uh, pretty much it to configuring a switch. Not uh, there's not much to it. It's just um, basic configurations, especially in a household where like I am. I don't need to do anything too fancy with uh, my switch. Thank you for watching and I hope this video was uh, beneficial. Thank you.